Hi, I'm Rob, of course, and uh, we're going to do a bit of hand setting here. We'll um, start with this tray of 18 point garamond I've got here, and an old typeface. One that's been around for a while. Now, first, this is a type gauge. Type comes in points, which you all know, 24 point, 16 point, 12 point. Uh, points are one, 12 points, 12 points makes a pica in the old language, the old printer's language, but uh, nowadays we call them M's. So 12 points is an M, and that comes from the 12 point times Roman M is the size or the type that all other type is measured against. And it's called an M because it's a capital M. So of course half an M, six points, is an N. Type gauges, they're in inches and points. No one uses the inches. You can pick them up at any good type gauge shop. Now, this is a setting stick, called a setting stick, in the old uh, printer's vernacular again. Um, stainless steel, made in Chicago. Right, the line I'm going to do is a good, good old English line. The, the quick brown box jumps over the, over the lazy dog. All the letters of the English alphabet. Our type width is 25 M's. The type is 18 point Garamond. Now when you start setting, you always start with either an M or a quad. Bigger, the big one, you see, big fat one. You want them at either end of your line. Because if you um, set the type If you set the type all the way to the end of the line, when you pick it up, it will fall out everywhere. So always start with the quad. This line will be set left. Now, this is the correct way to hold a setting stick with your thumb. I've got long fingers, so I hold my one that way, which is just, just as good. Uh, the idea is that as you place the type, the finger that's in there holds it. <whistles> holds the type and stops it bouncing around. Okay, we'll start off with uh, the quick brown fox. There's a um, JPEG of a case plan somewhere in this DVD, somewhere. So uh, yeah, but. It's like anything, once you've used it for a while, it's second nature. This is a nice, very nice old type case. Beach, I think it is. Beach and ash with little glass brass bits everywhere. Start with the quad, first line. The quick brown fox. T H. When you use your spaces between the words, start off with a mid. You have M space, N space. Thicks and thins and mids. And over here is a hair space. They're the really, really fine spaces. Okay, so you're starting off with a quad. You've got your first word and a mid space. Look quick. Foxy Loxy, how did a Z get in the Quick brown Now this case is a 
holy case there's lots of different well there's two basic different types there's um california jobbing case and a holy case called a holy case because printing was done in churches so yeah the first middle four letters are h o l y hence it's called a holy case the other case is the uh, california jobbing case which the americans being contrary named it their one okay quick round proxy type has these nicks you always face the nick away from you and you read the type upside down or it looks upside down if you don't know what it is but always have the nicks facing away from you then when you read the type upside down you read from left to right if it's up the other way you've got to read it right to left and upside down so at least this way you've got one thing going for you so yeah read it upside down always face the nick away long wind jam put a lead space between for your next line this is a riglet it's made of wood obviously well not obviously this is a lead a lead's made of lead I prefer to use leads for spacing when you use riglets um, they're quite springy and it doesn't help if you were using wooden letters you would use a riglet box always start with a quad preferably the same length as the one you put in there da -da 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 -da. We'll start with the quad and Mr. Jumps. One of the reasons I I like printing poetry is that a lot of poetry is very short. Sometimes it's a, just one word. So it's a, nice to see it. You can be creative. It's nice to read. When I was an apprentice, uh, well, we spent a lot of our time printing letterheads and business cards. You soon got pretty sick of that. So being able to do something creative makes it a lot more fun. Lazy, you just stay in bed. You're lazy, you just stay in bed. Lazy, hound dog, rough, rough, Mr. Dog. Now, when you put a full point in, or a comma, or a question mark, or an exclamation mark, any sort of punctuation, always put a hair space between, in this case, G, and the full point. Always put a hair space in. If you don't, it looks really ugly, and a lot of people don't. They'll look at the line and they'll say, "Is this something wrong with it? Is something wrong with it?" And they will never figure out. But what it is is a hair space between your last word and a full point, or an exclamation mark, or all of that. So all punctuation, always. Can't stress it enough. 
Also, don't be afraid of letter spacing with hair spaces. With hair space, it's not not type. When type is actually made in the foundry, a lot of the time they make it quite narrow. And if you set it like that, in some cases, it looks too cramped. So yeah, don't be afraid of putting some hair spaces in between the letters and bumping them out a bit. It will look a lot better. In this case, uh, I'm not, just to show you what's going on. Okay, the quick brown fox jumps over. The lazy pooch. Now, you're reading that left to right. Virgin Mary sure and me that I ain't gonna 